All right. <laughs> okay, well, let me, let me just work on this, and then we'll hang out and talk hey, and play. Hurry up, mister. <laughs> hurry up, mister. Hi, my name is David Watkins, and I want to tell you a little bit about the overpass and what we do. Um, I met Steve Lamb at a church group and a community group at Church on the Hill in San Jose, which I, I go to when I can. And we actually hung out at a Starbucks. We do that once a week. We just hang out and talk about things, life, family, and so forth. And one time we saw some homeless people living underneath an overpass, and we said to each other, what if we can make a difference for hope? And so we decided then and there that once a month we would drop off items to these people living underneath tents and a lot more. And we started doing that around Almaden Avenue, underneath the overpasses, just giving them items and encouraging them and trying to uh, make their lives feel better in any way that we we could. We talked to them, we found out about how they became uh, homeless and a lot more. We took down names, we prayed about people, and sometimes they would move on to different things, housing of some kind, or they'd be there for another month, and if that was the case, we, we would give them items that they requested. Not really to keep them there, but to try to give them hope, like I said. And so we started doing that for a long time. And I was posting it on Facebook under hashtag the overpassed. And what happened was people started reading that. This is a pretty cool group, what you guys are doing, the, the two of you. And then Bill Brex joined us. So it became the three of us. So thank you, Bill. And then Jake, I, I was telling Jake, Jake would come by work. And hey, Dave, how's life? How are things? And I said, hey, I got this group. I got this group. It's getting bigger and bigger. And Jake said, I, I want to help. Is there any way I can help at it all? And he joined us. And Jake, you... Jake, Jake, you, Jake, thank you very much for helping out. It has been a true blessing having you be part of our team. And more and more companies started getting involved. And Lynn Rogers, you're amazing. Thank you so much for all of your help. I am very proud to, um, I think this is a real blessing that you're having us talk to you at, talk to you guys at your church. And that is a really big blessing right there. We, uh, Bill and I spoke at, uh, we got invited to Rotary Club of Almaden Valley to tell people what the overpass does, what we do to help out the homeless. Apple Christian Fellowship with uh, Dan Nitsky, who was also part of the men's group from Church on the Hill. He helped out by having them bring over a van, which was uh, had a washer and a dryer, and that was for the homeless, and their clothes got washed and dried. Uh, we had people getting in circles in the middle of St. James Park, just praying for one another. And that was, that is, every time we go there, that is just an amazing thing. Just seeing complete strangers getting together. It's like, I don't know, like the book of Acts, when everyone just worked together to make sure that everyone had something, that everybody was happy. And that has been a true blessing to see God working in, in this field in downtown San Jose. Meet the, meet the, meet the press. Uh, Meet the Challenge, I'm sorry, that's totally different. Meet the Challenge, um, coordinated by and uh, created by Pastor Charlie. He heard about us and he wants to help out. So we're going to be meeting with him and doing a lot more. We met up with several different groups. I mean, there's a lot to read. So you got to look at hash, uh, Facebook hashtag The Overpass to find out what we do and, and more. There's also a story in the almondentimes.com. Go to archives. Go to May 4th, 2018. You'll see a story in there about what we do. Also, we, I mentioned um, Rotary Club of Almond Valley. We were on 94.5 Bay FM talking about everything from this cancer story. If you want to know more about that, ask me on Facebook under hashtag the overpass. I'll tell you. Um... But uh, during that time, uh, I got together with Dan Nitsky and Steve, and we dressed up as superheroes and gave out teddy bears from 43 one year to 200 the following. And last year, over 600 went to homeless shelters and a lot more. So thank you. Thank you to Steve, to Lynn Rogers, to Bill Brax, to uh, the list goes on. Jake, a lot of people. And my wife told me the day of my surgery when I was scared hearing that I had uh, third stage aggressive uh, cancer um, and my right kidney removed that 
I, I prayed and I said, God, if, if I make it through, help me to become somebody who encourages, inspires, and motivates people. And my wife said, don't make, don't you ever forget who you prayed to that day. So thanks to God for all of this, everything that's happening right now with this group. We meet once a month again, like I said, we drop off items and years ago, that was just an idea and it's become a reality. So thank you everyone. Just thank you for your support, for your love and uh, everything. David Watkins, take care.